Okay, there were a lot of bad videos about this, so uh, I'm going to try and um, help everybody out. Um, I bought one of these old Balfang uh, radios uh, earlier this year, and it was such a great gift. I wanted to get it for uh, my dad and my father-in-law. Uh, you cannot beat it. Uh, great value. Um, you don't even need a ham license uh, if you're just using this for emergency purposes like me. Uh, all I want to do is listen. Um, it's it's great, and you can't beat it. So uh, if you've already bought one, um, you're, you're not going to regret it or you're already enjoying it. Uh, mine is a UV-5R, but the new ones, I just bought one here. And there's a package, and then there's another one. Um, the new ones I got are the UV-5RA. As far as I can tell, um, they're going to install the same way. Uh, here's how you do it on a Mac. Um, just good useful tools. Uh, you, you've got to buy one of these cables. Uh, so this is the one that I bought. You can find it on Amazon. And then I clicked on uh, 124 answered questions. And the very first one had the answer I was looking for. Uh, because you can't, not, you can't just plug and play these usually. You can try it. Uh, this Mac is several years old, but it's running. It's always been updated. I'm running El Capitan right now. And um, I needed a driver update because of the El Capitan um, that I'm running. So always make sure you've got the most uh, uh, recent driver. The driver is basically there to to communicate with this cable. Um, you know, these they're not just simple cables, they've got little chips in them. And it's a prolific chipset. So I copied up here. Somebody was friendly enough to have the link. Control. Pasting it. And boom, there you go. Prolific technology. And this is the driver that I'm looking for. El Capitan. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again, but you just click on that zip file. You install it. I didn't even have to uh, restart the computer. Um, these reviews are really good to read on Amazon anyway. Hopefully you understand that. But uh, there's another really good uh, good uh, website, buy2wayradios.com, and it has some really good instructions for Windows as, uh, as well. Um, but uh, I don't know how up to date it is, but it seems to be pretty thorough. Um, so if you want Windows, you can do that. And then you need to get Chirp. Um, Chirp is, you know, when you, when you get this box, it's going to come with a CD inside a plastic bag. Or no, sorry, when you get the cable, uh, this cable is going to come with like a, a little CD. Throw it away. It's trash. Don't even bother with it. Okay. Uh, throw it away, go online, download the Chirp software, and you can go to this buy2wayradios.com, and there's a link down here that tells you where to go, uh, like Miklor, M-I-K-L-O-R, whatever, or somewhere, I can't remember, or Dan, there's some guy, yeah, Dan Planet, that's it. You want to get that. So uh, you'll get the Chirp software. Um, there's a lot of really good step-by-step -step information on this Chirp Dam Planet. This is where it goes. And then you'll click down here. Um, let me see where you get the... These, he has some links here for drivers and stuff, but I don't know if it's up to date. Like he said, he's, his just has Mavericks, but again, you know, mine just gave you, the link I gave you gives you the most prolific stuff. So anyway, um, you can read this. A lot of it's good for reference, um, uh, but always take it with a grain of salt because it may not be completely up to date. And I'm just showing you as of December 2015 what works to get it going. So um, anyway, you'll find the, uh, find the Chirp software and... I've already installed it. It's pretty lightweight, and I just double clicked on it. Um, you can see right here. There you go. It's just Chirp software. Uh, I'm running it now. It is open. 
I'm going to plug this in to the back of my Mac. The radio is off. It's plugged in, but the radio is off. So now I'm going to plug in or turn it on just one click. Um, I have the antenna out just so I don't hear anything. It doesn't squelch or any, anything like that. So uh, now I'm going to go up to the top. Radio is on. I'm all connected. This is how you know you've done it right. Uh, I'm going to go to radio. The very first thing you should always do is go to download from radio. If you did it right, then you'll see this USB serial. It gives you two options. Blue, you know, this, I don't know what it's for, I've never had to use it, but uh, this is the one you want. You want to say USB serial. Baofeng UV5R, even though this is a 5RA version, it's a newer version, it still works just fine. I'm going to click OK. When this comes up, it means that you did it right and you got the right uh, prolific driver installed. Uh, you may or may not have to restart your computer. Um, that would, if, if for some reason you can't get it to work, uh, that would be the first thing I would try before you start you know, pulling your hair out. And then, uh, so it says cloning, but all you're really doing is you are downloading everything that's on the current radio. So this is what it comes from, comes with. Um, I already deleted uh, the first channel uh, for a random sample, but it, it doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, this is what it comes with. You can read about Chirp online. Very, very useful. This was just a connection guide, but uh, Chirp is definitely the way to go. Uh, you can throw away anything that comes with it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, just remember to save you know, your file uh, after you're done updating all of your channels. And then you'll click here, Upload to Radio, and it'll reclone it. And then you can unplug and you're good to go. Thanks.